you're playing in a place that you know is built in 1914, what do you have to do here? Is it, do you see long-term viability the way it is, or are, are there major things that you're going to have to do here? Yeah, Bruce, you know, we, we had, during the due diligence process, we had engineers and architects go through the stadium. We also had a lot of, a lot of reports that were prepared for the, for the Tribune and, and under, the, under the, you know, the previous ownership. The good news about Wrigley Field is that the, the infrastructure, kind of the bones of the stadium, are, are, are in, in, in good shape. The, um, it is it is 100% the intention of uh, me and the family to to preserve and improve Wrigley Field. The goal is to um, you know in the next few next five to seven years as we improve the stadium to concurrently fix up the parts that perhaps need some more some more work. In other words, you wouldn't have to move out for a year and play at Sox Park or Milwaukee while that's going on? Is, is that something that you... Yeah, that's not in the plans. And okay. the, the plan is to do it much like the Red Sox model where we just accept the fact we have the six-month building season over the winter and just plan accordingly. The other thing that seems to be sacrosanct around here is the name of this place, Wrigley Field. Will that stay or will you look at things, you know, could it be McDonald's Park at Wrigley Field? Could it be Ameritrade Field? Could it be you know, whatever? Yeah, we're not in any, we're not looking at any naming rights things right now. Um, I don't think you want to lose the name Wrigley. Um, you know, down the line, I, I won't say that it's an, it'll never happen that we won't look at some kind of extra sponsorship around the name. Um, but right now, there's really no plans to, to to touch that. You said forget about the past, and I mean, I was, I was watching one of the baseball playoff games, and there was a fly ball down the left field line, and it went foul, and they go, "Oh, it's in Bartman territory," and I was like stunned because I mean, it's like, "Oh my God!" You know, and everything. I mean, the goat, the curses, all that stuff. I mean, what what do you do with that? You know, you, you just got to move on. And people have to. There is no curse. the The reason that there aren't more World Series trophies here is that you know that not good teams and not good teams you know bad teams that performed as expected and then good teams that had bad luck in the playoffs i mean there's no there's nothing more to it than that what we have to do is be more consistent getting a more consistent results on the field to get to the playoffs and then hope that you know once we get there that that the players hold it together and and push forward there's no curse that's just people have to give that up it's crazy yes, it's do. crazy talk yeah. You probably had to go to your father and say, you know, what do you think about? Did he say, what are you nuts? You know, were you crazy by a baseball? I mean, it's like yeah, a kid. Yeah, that's pretty close to what he said, Mike. <laughs> he uh, started off, um, kind of, ca- kind of came up with the idea, floated out there. I got the. That doesn't sound like a very good idea to me at first, and then, but then a, a few weeks later, we were actually uh, the whole family rented a few rooftops and we were up on, up there and just looking out over on a beautiful, sunny uh, Sunday afternoon. And just looking out over the whole, you know, the, the whole scene, he was like, "Yeah, I think I get it. I think I get it." Had your father been to games? I mean, he'd been to games, but he never like he, he's not a not a particularly large sports fan, and um, and uh, I think he just never really understood the Cub vibe until that day or that whole Cub experience. Yeah.